Okay, so in this video, we want to verify the mean value theorem in the special case where f of x is x cubed and the interval is from negative 1 to 3. Well, the conditions are obviously satisfied as x cubed is continuous and differentiable everywhere. <coughs> so the interval is from negative 1 to 3. So the value of a is negative 1, the value of b is positive 3. And now let's write the general statement of the mean value theorem, the conclusion, which is that f of b minus f of a over b minus a, the average slope of the function f on the interval from a to b will equal the instantaneous slope of the function f prime, the derivative, at some point c, and c must be somewhere between a and b. Well, we'll need the derivative of the function. So if f of x is x cubed by the power rule, f prime of x is 3x squared. And now we can replace. So f of b will be 3 cubed, which is, of course, 27, minus f of a, negative 1 cubed, which is negative 1. So negative, negative 1 is positive 1, over b minus a. 3 minus negative 1 is 3 plus 1, 4. This equals the derivative at c. Well, f prime of x is 3x squared, so f prime of c, replacing x by c, will be 3c squared. We can simplify, of course, the left-hand side. So 28 over 7, 28 over 4, sorry, is equal to 7. So what we now have is that 3c squared must equal 7. Divide by 3, so c squared, is equal to 7 over 3. Therefore, c will be plus or minus the square root of 7 over 3. In decimals, this will give us the negative solution about negative 1.53, and the positive solution about 1.53. So we have here, algebraically, two values of c. But recall that c has to be between a and b. Well here, a and b are negative 1 and 3 respectively. So c must be somewhere between negative 1 and positive 3. This value is outside of this range. So the unique solution in this case will be c about 1.53 which is exactly the square root of 7 over 3. Which again is approximately 1.53. So in this case there is a unique value of c that satisfies the mean value theorem. And we can visualize this quite roughly if we produce a rough sketch of the graph of x cubed on the interval from negative 1 to 3. So x cubed looks approximately like this. Suppose this is negative 1, and this is positive 3. We can connect both points. And of course the slope of this line is the average slope of the function on the interval, which is exactly f of b minus f of a over b minus a. And now if we look for a point where the derivative of the function is equal to this slope, well, the lines must be parallel. So it looks roughly here. So from a very rough sketch of x cubed, from negative 1 to 3, the point C, where the derivative of the function, the instantaneous slope of the function, is equal to the average slope of the function, looks to be about in the middle of 0 and 3, so about 1.5. And as we have found, the exact value of the point C 
is the square root of 7 on 3, which is approximately 1.53. So this is simply a heuristic to verify roughly that the value of c seems to be the right one.